What's up guys, in today's video I will be creating the second half of a video I filmed a while back when my Audi A3 was completely bone stock. I filmed a video about the dislikes, my top eight or so dislikes about my Audi A3. I didn't get around to ever posting that video just because of the way it was filmed and edited and it was never quite long enough to be a whole video so I've been meaning to make the second half the things I love about my Audi A3. First I'm going to show you guys the video of me talking about the things I dislike about my Audi A3 and then I'll jump right into the things I love about my 2012 Audi A3. You're gonna see really shortly why I didn't want to release that footage. It's a little embarrassing, but honestly, I think it's kind of funny. So without further ado, take it away, Blonde Maddie. This video, my window decides to be a... Look at that. Did it really just break? When I try and go up all the way, it like starts going down. Here, 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 let me go. <laughs> What a heck. What a heck. Okay, make it 11 things I just like. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm bringing you guys a highly requested video. Thank you so much for your guys' support. It means the world to me, but let's just jump right into it. Today's video is going to be the top it was supposed to be the top five things I dislike about my Audi. However, there are many more things I dislike about this car than just five. So I've extended it to 10. Hopefully I can run through them really quickly. I want to preface this video by saying I don't hate my Audi. I've had it for almost three years. It's been really good to me, super reliable. So I don't hate her. Knock on every piece of wood that exists. Please continue to be great to me. But I am making this video to highlight some of the things about the car that don't really benefit me and things that don't really make sense in my eyes but maybe you guys can give me your feedback but without wasting any more time let's jump right into today's video so for some reason Audi decided to make 8,000 pound doors that even though I've had the car for three years I've never gotten used to they're incredibly heavy and anyone <laughs> <laughs> and anyone that tries to open my door to get inside is confused as to why my doors do not want them inside the vehicle. So Audi was gracious enough to provide black leather seats in the A3 and it's really good. They're really great seats until you've had them too long. And speaking of seats, Audi provides another cool feature. Let me show you. So Audi provides heated seats in the A3 and this is how you turn them on. It's kind of tedious. You have to kind of like just keep scrolling and it's in a really weird spot. But who really needs heated seats when the car already has black leather and you live on the west coast? Not complaining, maybe this is me just stretching a little bit, but for me personally, I think I would have preferred the feature of cooled seats, or at least the option to do both. With that being said, let's jump on to the next thing I dislike about my Audi A3. So the next thing I want to talk about is how much the Audi depreciates. When I bought this car, I bought it used from a Honda dealership. It had one previous owner. I paid a little bit more than I probably should have, but that's besides the point. I ended up owing a lot more than it was actually worth. And within a year or so, the car devalued itself so much that I am actually incredibly upside down in it. And that is why I've hung on to it for so long. Audi also made this car in a quattro version which allowed this platform to be all-wheel drive. Something I would have appreciated a lot more and it's probably a reason I would have modified it a long time ago. However, I bought the most basic version of this car which came in front-wheel drive. There's nothing wrong with front-wheel drive, I just personally think I would have preferred the all-wheel drive platform. The next thing I dislike about the Audi A3 was the hill assist. I found this very counterintuitive and I actually had it uninstalled on my car because I kept getting crippling anxiety every time I came to a hill. I'm not sure if it's all A3s or just mine, but I don't have it anymore. So Audi and Volkswagen do this really cool thing where you try and turn on the AC. It does this thing where it just blows air even when you don't want it. It's just like excessive air and it's really hot, and stinky, and you just wanted one level, but now you have all 10. So the last thing that's going to be on my dislike list is going to be the overall interior of this Audi. I thought because it was an Audi and because it was a 2012, it would have a little bit more amenities than it was supplied with. This car does have the Bluetooth feature, but it is a call only feature. You cannot connect your music through it. There is also no USB port for your phone to connect. So you're pretty much SOL unless you have an old school auxiliary cord. The radio on this car is also pretty lame. Nothing's really exciting about this car. It is by far one of the most basic interiors. I have ever seen especially in a luxurious car 
So while we're speaking about air conditioning, uh, the Audi also has this really cool thing. It's kind of spooky, so if you're into that, um, come here. If you leave it on one, it makes this really cool noise. Super creepy, and uh, the only way to get rid of it is to wait the 10 seconds it takes or to turn the air conditioning completely off. Weird noises. As you can tell, a lot on my Audi has changed since I filmed the dislike video, including I wrapped my Audi in a pink pearlescent color from Paradox. You can hit him up for the details. You can also order the vinyl color through him if you're interested. I also bagged the car with Airlift 3P air suspension. I am obsessed with my air suspension. And lastly, I teamed up with Rotiform to rock their new ZMO wheels, their cast wheels. They look amazing on the car. Honestly, I wasn't sure how the black and pink theme was gonna end up but I actually really really like it I honestly never expected to love my Audi A3 as much as I really really do September was my three-year mark with this car so I want to just go over and highlight the amazing features the Audi does have that actually makes it a great car for anyone looking to buy something as a daily um, a first-time car something fun but kind of affordable and overall, the car has been so, so good to me. So while I have you guys in my Audi, I'm gonna talk about my first favorite thing about this Audi. The transmission gearbox of the Audi A3 is so incredibly smooth. It is a manual car, which is one of the biggest reasons I actually got this car. I really had a thing for the hatchback manual lifestyle. I came from a Mazda Speed 3 before this, and this was definitely an upgrade in terms of the luxuriousness of it. It feels like it just glides into gear. You really have to drive one to know what I'm talking about. Number two on my list is the suspension on the Audi A3. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, duh, you spent thousands of dollars on airlift. However, I'm not just talking about the suspension I added. I'm talking about the stock suspension as well. The stock suspension that comes on this car is actually really, really nice. I never had any issues with it, and it drove, again, so smooth that I actually felt like the air suspension I added made the car more rough even though I, I have no regrets switching to airlift but if you do plan on getting an a3 just know you'll be fine with the stock suspension it's amazing some of you guys might recognize this bad boy this is my airlift controller shout out to the company camberwell who made this for me i will tag them down below it's a little magnetic airlift controller it's so cute and you can see it from outside the car and it matches my car so I really do love this. I also have one in my Evo that is black, so different colors. I think he 3D prints them and it's awesome. I'm gonna show you guys what my car looks like entirely aired out on this little hill. So you can see, I don't usually post videos of it aired out or pictures really. So if you've never seen it, now's your chance. Now you guys might be able to tell why I love the air suspension so much. It looks so cool when it's aired out all the way. I love the way it looks, but I will say the stock suspension is so good. So if you leave it the way it is, you'll be perfectly happy with the car. Third favorite thing about my Audi A3, again, prior air suspension would be the fact that this Audi was capable of holding so much of my stuff in it if you guys know me you know I move a lot so it was kind of a necessity to have a car that could fit a lot of stuff in it and even now with my own business it definitely helps however I will say adding the air tank and the compressors in the back of my car like so wasn't the best idea just because it did limit me now on the amount of space I have in my car but it looks good. All right guys, on to the next thing. I recently deleted the muffler on my Audi A3 because I search and search and search for an exhaust that would sound good on this car. However, they were not the best sounding and they're really expensive. But the videos I did like were the ones where the people just cut off their muffler or straight pipe their Audi and it sounded so amazing. So I decided to go with a muffler delete. I kept my cats because I didn't want my car to be super stinky. So I will go ahead and do a little exhaust clip for you guys right now. The 
reason I like this exhaust setup so much was because it's an affordable way to get an aggressive tone without any rasp and there's absolutely no drone inside the cabin. It randomly started raining before I was even done filming, which was so annoying. <laughs> However, the show must go on, so I'm going to say my last favorite thing about my Audi A3 that some of you guys might know that the car has. It's kind of not the most interesting thing in the entire world. However, I think it's pretty cool. This car actually not only has a sunroof, but it also has a moonroof in the back. A moonroof is pretty much like a sunroof, except it doesn't open. So it's really cool because the entire roof is just all black from factory and it's glass and you can see up it really just adds that level of luxury without going over the top however it does have a sunshade right here that you can close and like like close the window but i broke that so it's just always open <laughs> I've always really liked this car because it was manual and it's a hatchback. It fits a lot of stuff in it. It's cute. However, it wasn't exactly the most amazing car. If I had the option to trade this for an RS3, you bet you I would put myself in debt real quick. <laughs> I do plan on keeping the car for a little bit, at least until I find something else that piques my interest or until the RS3 hatchback becomes legal in America. I have so much in store for this car and my Evo and a 240. I can't wait to show you guys. So if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below your favorite part of my audi or if you have any questions feel free to leave those as well if you guys have made it this far in the video thank you so much don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next video